Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. I definitely appreciate you taking the time with me today. Today we're going to be painting a few variations of an electric blue crawfish on a square bill 1.5. So I've already put a white base coat on the square bills. Uh, the base coat that I always use for white is the Wicked uh, Opaque White. So for an electric uh, blue crawfish, uh, the overall base coat that I use is a pearl blue uh, by Cretex. Okay, one down, three more to go. So we have our four square bills here with our pearl blue. Uh, now we're gonna do a few different variations of these. Um, I'm just gonna kinda wing it and uh, see, see what I like. First uh, variation I'm gonna do to one of these is give it a fluorescent yellow. Uh, belly. So we want the belly and uh, let's say about halfway up the sides. After that got heat set, uh, it really faded, so we're going to give it a second coat here. We're going to do one more coat. So for two of these, we're going to use a Detail Burnt Umber. Uh, it's a Wicked Color by Cretex. We're going to put this on the upper half of the bait.
On the uh, fluorescent one, I'm gonna put just a little bit of Wicked Orange right on the throat area. So for this last one, I was going to leave it just blue and then uh, put the normal shells on it, but I think I'm going to mix things up a little bit and add a uh, Wicked Detail Violet underbelly to it. Uh, I'm not going to go up the sides on it, I really just want the belly of it. So when painting a crayfish pattern, uh, I start with the back, that way it's easier to line up the side shell pieces. Uh, lining those up is still something that I've been working on perfecting because for whatever reason I can't really line things up very well, but uh, doing the back first definitely helps and makes things a little bit easier. Um, I have made a few templates here and there. Uh, I do have one for the back. This is just a chunk of cardboard. Came off of a uh, paperclip box, I do believe. And uh, I just have a little V-notch cut out and made a few little cuts in there to give uh, a little bit of liveliness to the uh, stencil. So uh, what I do, I'll just kind of line it on the back right there with the point towards the front. And then try to aim directly at the stencil itself and uh, just let the overspray kind of go there. Kind of just like that. So I'll do two of these on a 1.5. And then what I'll do is I'll paint the uh, the very tail end of it. So to do the uh, the side shell pieces again, I've got a template here where I just cut a rounded edge. I've got a few uh, small cuts in there to just uh, let things bleed through again. And then I'll just line this up, and I'll try to. Uh, have a little marker so I'm just gonna use that paper clip icon there line the back of that up with where that top piece is and then again we're just spraying the cardboard and letting things uh, the overspray get to it just like that And then for the back piece, push things up a little bit, use that front half of the uh, paper clip. And just like that.
And once I got the sides, uh, again, just go back and get the tail. So then I'll uh, go ahead and connect the bottom of the uh, spray. Uh, again, just kind of using the template to give it a little bit of a rounded edge. So once I have the sides connected, the belly is the last piece. So again, I just use the same uh, template that I used uh, on top of the lure. Just kind of connect the sides. And just the same concept, spray. Spray at the cardboard, trying to get that uh, overspray on there. All right, guys, so uh, next we're going to slap some eyeballs on these guys, and then we'll be on to clear coating. All right, so I've gone ahead and got the eyes on. Whenever I'm doing a crayfish pattern, red eyes are key. Uh, there's something about them that I really think goes well with a craw pattern. So our last step is going to be uh, clear coating these. For clear coat, I use a... Devcon 2 ton 30 minute epoxy. Uh, it's the best that I've found so far. Alright, so we've got our four different iterations of the electric blue crayfish. I've gone ahead and put some hooks on them. I would say my favorite is actually the one that had the, the fluorescent yellow and the uh, wicked orange on it. Uh, followed closely by the, uh, the violet belly one. Uh, the burnt umber ones turned out just fine. Uh, I'm used to making those, so nothing really special about those for me. So they'll all catch fish, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out and use them tomorrow. So I want to thank everyone again for uh, stopping by and taking the time to uh, watch my video. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you.